The advent of Barbello, the divine feminine within the Christian Gnostic mythos, is something that we absolutely cannot ignore because it actually answers and solves one of the biggest problems with modern day spirituality. And that is the fact that what we've done through all of our traditions is essentially left out the divine feminine. And this is really no secret if you look back into specifically the canonization process of the Bible and other texts like it. And you're really left with a divine masculine trinity. You're left with a divine masculine pantheon of gods, etc. And so to really bring Barbello back into this myth, back into this mythos is very, very important in my humble opinion, because it literally completes spirituality for us and actually solves that problem in a way that not only works mentally, physically, spiritually for us as a whole, as we practice these and other hidden mysteries. Now, Barbello, fantastic character here being literally birthed by the father and essentially appearing because the father peers into a pool, falls in love with his own image, and there is born Barbello. And the next part, I'm going to read the actual scripture.